Hello, I'm Avery or Hazel or Kylie. You can just pick one. I don't care. Hello, I am Lily. And welcome to the From the Closet podcast. Today, we are covering Rango. Uh, obviously, this podcast will contain spoilers for said movie. If you would like to avoid spoilers, there will be a link in the description below to the Just Watch page for this movie, which itself will have links to every place you can rent, purchase, or stream this movie. With price I matching... Added this, I added this movie... While it's on Netflix. Now it's on Paramount+. Plus. It moves around a lot. I don't know why it would have been on Netflix. Although, now that I think about it, it does make sense. Because, like, Viacom had a lot of agreements with, like, Netflix before they launched Paramount+. Plus. Um, so, whatever. Uh, anyway, it, there is price matching for renting and purchasing... Uh, but for us here in the U.S., the movie is currently available on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, it's a Nickelodeon movie, so what do you, what would you expect? Um, stars. I would expect stars. I don't know why you would expect stars. Uh, that's a bit of a weird one. I mean, stars is always on, like, the... Every time I go to a movie, it's like, oh, it's stars. Usually why if it's a it... Sony movie... Why is it always stars? Because Sony's a problem. Uh, speaking of problems, we unfortunately have to announce, and I think I'm going to make this announcement again in the uh, in the Black Panther episode when that comes out, just to make sure more Marvel fans see it. Um, but we unfortunately have to announce that our coverage of the X Men franchise is going to be postponed um so we have already covered x-men one through three as well as deadpool one and two however uh x-men origins wolverine is not available uh on any of our, the streaming services that we have um so unfortunately unless it comes back to disney plus or we are somehow able to purchase a digital copy um we cannot continue covering the series. Uh, it will happen at some point, but it'll probably be a while. Um, All right. On that note, um, on that we... note, on that note, you can join us tomorrow for Agents of Shield Slingshot as well as the Marvel One Shots. Um, so at least there's that. Uh, you can join us next week for The Lion King and something else. We don't know what it is yet. You can find out next week. Um, also in the description, you'll find a link to our Patreon where you can vote on future episodes of this show as well as get access to episodes before they release, as well as early access to episodes of our sister show, Off the Shelf, which is about books. And that podcast is exclusive to YouTube and Patreon. And also in the description is a link to Spotify for Podcasters, which itself... We'll have links to every platform that this podcast is on, as well as links to our Instagram and Twitter where you can be notified when we release new episodes. If you would like to support us but cannot do so financially, the best way is to listen to our podcast on Spotify. We recently lost monetization for all of our episodes, and the only way for us to get it back is to get more listeners on Spotify. With all that being said, please get out of here if you would like to avoid spoilers, because we are going to start talking about the movie now. Um, um, Lizard. Discount, wow. ga discount Gecko Gecko. Wow, that's, um... Yikes. You're really going hard on that one. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just what I think when I see it. I mean, I, I could actually imagine the Geico Gecko and Rango being friends. I don't know, I mean, they're, they're both lizards. They can, um, they, they can relate to each other. Is there a technical difference between a lizard and a gecko? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> Trico's a gecko. And that fun fa fun fact, a fun Pokemon fact of the day. And Charizard is a lizard. You know, th those two are the exact same thing. Oh yes, Trico and Charizard, same Pokemon. 
yeah, no, um, you know, I look at their silhouettes and I just get so confused. Who's that Pokemon? It's missing now. Damn it. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, you know, I saw this movie in theaters back when it first came out. I don't remember when that was. I was still in school at the time. Uh, I found this movie incredibly boring uh, when I watched it the first time. And now, watching it again, I don't think it's really changed. Uh, I definitely do appreciate the score. The score is incredible. But I never could get myself invested in any of the characters. And the story is just a generic... Like, the story is very generic. It's something I've mm -hmm. seen before countless times. There, there is some stuff I like about this movie. That's not the plot. Um, the aesthetic of it definitely um, is definitely really good. I love how like there's like a little water jug, and that's like the bank. There's some As neat ideas, sure. I do. I do like the idea of um, they're using every world o like normal objects in this world, but you know they're just so much bigger, kind of like uh, Pikmin. Yeah, or the secret world of Arietti, which uh, that's gonna be it. Okay, yeah, likely Pikmin. <laughs> Chibi Robo. Hmm. I just don't mention the last game. Why did you mention it? I didn't mention it by name. Um. And also, um. There's the uh, Katamari Damacy. I don't think I've heard of that game. Or I've, it's I've, hugely. I've not heard of that. It was a hugely popular series on PlayStation uh, consoles. I think there were, like, three or uh, four games, and then, like, uh, one of them got remade uh, recently, and I think it's on, like, PS4 and Switch. And then I think they just announced the second game is getting remade. So, yeah, this movie, they're small, everything else is big, and there's no water. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Everyone's fucking starving. Or dehydrating. Yeah. Dihydrating. Dihydrating. <laughs> yeah. Um and um and the reason because of all of this is that there is a stupid valve that just turns off all the water. Great guys. You're, you're, you're really you're really thinking out of the box for this one. Yeah, and there's some guy who's controlling it. I will admit, he was a interesting character. He was I certainly liked his voice. He was certainly a character. A lot of the voice acting in this felt familiar. I didn't bother looking up like the cast, hmm. but I feel like I've heard everyone before in other things. You know, I kind of get the same feeling now that you mention it. Yeah, like... I don't know. It's something, um... I'm sure if I were more interested in this movie, I would probably look it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I just didn't really care for this one. And I'm not that surprised that I didn't care for it, because it's a Nickelodeon movie. And, okay... This is a Nickelodeon movie that released in theaters, and typically, those are actually usually better than the ones that they do for TV. I mean, and, and with Fred Disney, the movie existed, so I yeah, it's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when's the last time you heard anyone talking about uh, spectacular? Who? Or, or best player. What? <laughs> yeah, like, 
Nobody fucking remembers these Nickelodeon TV movies unless they were they are extremely bad. Or they're yeah. related to or they're related to a TV show. Like SpongeBob. Yeah. So that did get a uh, theoretical that, release. Th- yeah, that's a that that was a that was a um actual theater uh, theater movie. Um but I mean, if it was still just a TV special, you'd still get people talking about it and re- remembering it. Something, some, uh, something more like uh, "I Party with Victorious" is what I'm thinking of, which hmm. is kind of a funny one to mention because, like, that's like a TV mo- movie like associated with two TV shows. Or uh, and, Drake and Josh Christmas, there, uh, there's that as well. Yes, yeah, so this movie didn't do much original with its story. But, I mean, for a Nickelodeon movie, I don't know. I feel like asking for anything more than this movie is a bit too much. I feel like people do remember this movie existing. Um... I think primarily because you don't see a lot of animated westerns, but also like yeah. I think I think the fact that it's a western at all is part of why I'm not really that interested in it. I mean, I'm in the west, so a western is like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like the only western movie that I super enjoy is Back to the Future Part Three. Yeah, and that's just a Back to the Future uh, movie. Yeah, like there's so like there's enough sci-fi there to keep me entertained. God, um, so yeah, this movie remembered. Though I can also see people in my situation who have, uh, oh yeah, Rango. I never watched it. I feel like okay. I feel like people remember that this movie existed but not what actually happens in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Just yeah, there was that lizard. Um, I'm pretty sure he got car insurance. <laughs> yeah, it, just like James Cameron's av- Avatar. Like, people remember that movie existed, but they don't fucking remember what happens in it. Is that the Avatar with the blue people? Yep. No, Avery, Avery. They don't just remember um, that existed. They remember that it existed in 3D. Yeah, and looked fucking incredible. What was the movie? <laughs> God, but yeah, I mean, I vividly remember things in this movie. You just watched it, like, yesterday. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The movie also did kind of seem like a blur as well. Yeah, it's like... I legit, if I hadn't... I don't know. I legit found myself falling asleep um, during parts of this movie. And I had to stop watching it. Go buy something... Like, go buy something that had caffeine in it. And then sit down, rewind a bit... And, like, actually watch the movie, like, with caffeine in order to finish it. (laughs) And despite with, like, all of this, um, this movie just kind of existing, I have to admit, this movie is good as a bad, not a good word, um, it's better than a lot of other movies that we've covered that are, well, not... It's better than quite a few movies we've covered. It's better than a few. But I did find my like I, I did find myself thinking that I would rather be watching The Incredible Hulk. Because I'd rather I, um I'd rather do the most despicable things imaginable before I watch Incredible Hulk again. Well see, to me it's like The Incredible Hulk at least had the fight sequences that were fun to watch. Um and like I enjoyed how scary Hulk himself looked in that movie um and it's like he doesn't really look that way in later mcu movies so it's like you know there are at least some aspects of the incredible hulk that i enjoyed 
with this movie, there was just the score. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. I'd rather watch that. Um, I'll, I'll say this. This movie's better than like either of the Percy Jackson movies or the original Parent Trap. I don't know. Like, yes, the plot was uh, generic, predictable, but I did really love the um, just watching it. There's also I mean, that one. There's also that one romance that's just thrown in there, out of complete nowhere. Yeah, but it's fine. It's a western movie. And we're back after some minor interruption. Um, a dragon fell on my computer. Yeah. Uh, we're not even going to provide any further context for that. No, no more context. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Just trying to think of other good Nickelodeon movies. I know. Okay, so we covered Good Burger. I don't know yeah. if that was like a TV movie. Or a theatrical release. It I don't know. It definitely didn't feel like a theatrical release. Who knows? Um, I can tell you, Fun Sized, which was a theatrical release to Nickelodeon movie, was absolutely horrendous. Um, sorry, which one? Fun Sized. I don't believe I've seen that one. Good. I guess it's good. Yeah. Um, but Rango, I don't know. I feel like Rango might actually be one of their best, and that's disappointing. I think they might have also been... I think they might have also been behind uh, the Jim Carrey uh, A Series of Unfortunate Events movie. Which was not super accurate to the books, but also not horrible. Um, it's something that existed. I mean, when it comes to, um, you know, these studios making uh, movies for their TV, uh, for their TV programs, at least it can't go worse than Zapped. Uh and see, the sad thing is, like, typically, like, Nickelodeon, uh, bleh, typically Disney Channel, uh, like, TV movies are better than, like, n even Nickelodeon's theatrical releases, for the most part. Lisa but, can't like, go better, uh, worse than Zapped. Yeah, like, Zapped is just, like, one of the worst Disney Channel movies I think I've ever seen. Yeah. It's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, like, I, I'm not even a fan of the High School Musical series, but I would still rather watch any of them over Zapped. I just wouldn't rather watch any of that. I would not want to watch High School Musical again. I mean, the fact that they made a body swap movie on, like, Disney Channel, and it's, like, actually pretty decent. Um, it... I don't know. Like, Disney Channel kind of surprises me a lot. Uh, Disney Channel surprises me, too. Both good and bad. Yeah. You know, sometimes, like, damn, this is a good movie. Or, how did you mess this up? Nickelodeon... Nickelodeon just disappoints me. I mean, I feel like after a certain point, Nickelodeon just stopped being fun to watch. Honestly, yeah. I um, mean, they're still dragging the corpse of Spongebob behind them. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know, a lot of the new shows they're making, it's... None of them are good. And, like, I feel like this is... Rango came from an era where Nickelodeon was dying for me. Like iCarly had ended, of course, now it's been revived, and the revival's fine. Um, Victorious uh, had ended, Sam and Cat was a thing, and it was just meh. 
It wasn't bad. It was just man. Was a thing. Honestly, I think you should just end it as was a thing. Well, I mean, we do got to make this 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's like, this comes from that era. And it's like, oh yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender ended well before this. Um, Legend of Korra had also ended. And, like... We know that that franchise is being brought back now, but it still seems like we're a couple of years out from anything new. You know, despite, like, there's a bunch of big announcements of, like... Actually, there's just a whole hell of a lot of announcements through um, Avatar Lost Airbender shit. And I don't think I've ever seen something come from that. Well, like, the Avatar Studio stuff, like, the earliest thing that's supposed to release is, I believe, in 2024. Like, didn't we have, like, a few years back, um, um, a remake on Netflix? That's still coming, but it's not finished. Then when? I'm not sure. I think they might have actually announced a date, but... I mean, like, the original creators are not behind the Netflix adaptation anymore. Um, so I don't really have faith in it. At minimum, I would say it's probably at least going to be better than the M. Night Shyamalan movie. That's a low bar. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to be worse than a movie that is literally taught in film, like, taught about in film schools as what not to do as one of the worst movies ever made is he still alive yes imagine imagine being that person that made the worst movie yeah i mean it's considered to be one of the worst i'm not sure if it's actually the, the worst, worst movie i mean there has yeah. been something worse but like imagine being still alive and your creation is being labeled as one of the worst movies. People are teaching it in schools, like, whatever you do, do not make this movie. And you're like, bro, right here. To be fair, he also still has, like, he's also made some pretty good movies, apparently. Like, apparently Unbreakable is pretty damn good. Does he still Un make movies? Yeah. Yeah, what? Sorry. Does, does he still make movies? I'm pretty sure he does, yeah. Huh. But, like, he has a reputation of, like, either his movies are pretty good, or they're awful. Mm. Uh, guess sucks to be him. Yeah. But... I mean... There's there's a particular movie I'm thinking of that's also pretty damn bad that's one of his. Uh, it's called Split. And, um... Like, it, Split is a sequel to Unbreakable, and I would like to cover the Unbreakable trilogy at some point. Um... Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons I want to cover Split is because I want to see, uh... Like, I want us to, like, have a perspective of the difference between how Split handles dissociative identities disorder and how Moon Knight handles it. Okay, but how's, uh, who's Moon Knight? You will find out about Moon Knight later. It's MCU. Oh, okay. Speaking um, of which, it's kind of funny how Paramount fucking sold the MCU rights to Disney. Huh. What did what did MCU what MCU rights did uh, Paramount have? Or All of it. Oh. Yeah, like they they literally had the Marvel franchise rights from the beginning. Uh, what movies did they make? Uh, pretty sure it was everything through Iron Man three. Oh. Well, except for the the Incredible Hulk, that was Universal. Well, oh, yeah. So, we actually just recently entered the Disney era of Marvel? Well, I mean, recently is a bit subjective, I would say, because, like... Yeah. We, we're, like, near, 
we're like nearing Infinity War now, so. But like, uh, we're we're clear into uh, Disney at this point, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. Was it in? Uh, was the Captain America movie the first Disney movie? The um, Civ not Civil War. Um, Winter Soldier. I feel like it might have been either Winter Soldier or Dark World. Oh, so either a really good movie or not not that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, Nickel Nickelodeon, you've kind of been disappointing lately. Um, like, almost everything Nickelodeon's put out just hasn't been anything that I've wanted to watch. Like, even Disney Channel's put out stuff that, like, lately that has been interesting. Like, you have Secrets of Sulphur Springs, you have Amphibia, you have The Owl House. Yeah, Nickelode Nickelodeon's slacking hard, and, um... I don't know. I don't know where Cartoon Network is at this point. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, didn't Steven Universe end? Yes. And that was basically all they had, right? Because, like, regular show had already ended, and, um, so had Adventure Time. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think they're, at the very least, one of their new shows that they made, I've at least seen somebody say that, you know, it's pretty good. But, I mean, like, one yeah, of their I mean, new, new shows, you know? Yeah, and hopefully soon we can actually get into, um a Cartoon Network show that I really enjoyed, but we have to check uh, if we both still have Max. Um, yeah. Uh, and I... I haven't done it. <laughs> I mean, I've I've gone on to Max and maybe watched something. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot if I yeah. actually watched something or just wanted to Max because I wanted to go on to Max. But yeah, um, I don't know. Hopefully Avatar Studios can bring some stuff in, but, like, even then, that is just one franchise. And if you're not a fan of Avatar for whatever reason, uh, for one thing, I'm sorry. Seek help. Um, like, I'm sorry, but, like, you know, if you're not, then there's nothing for you. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, okay, you and I have uh, been feeling like they've been What's announcing that? these, you know, Avatar Lost Airbender project or Avatar projects, like when they just start them. Like, usually when I see, like, announcements, they're already a good amount into it, right? Well, okay, I don't necessarily agree with that, because, like, um,. Okay, so the live-action Netflix thing, yes, that I'll agree with. But, like, they were hesitant to announce what they were working on at Avatar Studios. Like, all they announced was that they were working on things. But they didn't tell us what it was for a long time. And when they finally did, it was something like, I, I want to say that the announcement that a movie was coming in, a, a movie would be released in 2024, I want to say that announcement came in 2022. And that is still and I, two years ago. Yeah, that is, like... Or, like, two, two years. years ago from the actual release. Yeah, um... And I feel like, you know, that's a little bit, um... A little bit of a big wait, but then at the same time, I think back to how video games have been handled, and, like, Tears of the Kingdom was announced six years ago. I mean, fair enough, but, like, I mean, I will also say that video games wait, no, sorry. take longer. Sorry, Tears of the Kingdom, I think, actually might have been announced four years ago, but either way, it's ridiculous. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, six years ago, yeah, I just don't think that, um... Six years ago is when Breath of the Wild came out. Hmm. Yeah. 
yeah. So I want to say Tears of the Kingdom might have been announced four years ago or something like that. Either way, I mean, it was announced games way, take... way long before release. Okay, but what about movies? Marvel has announced movies up through 2026. Okay, I'll give you that. However, that's Marvel, and Marvel plans way far ahead. And also gives you movies like... Actually, when's the next Marvel movie? I know it's like a few months from now. Actually, I think the next Marvel movie is the Marvels in November. Yeah. So a few months from now. I mean, it's almost half a year, but all right. Half a year's <laughs> a few months. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's, um... Rango... Just kind of, meh. This movie exists... It's kind of boring. I, I'll i give it a higher rating like when we get to ratings, but... I, I mean, know. can we do ratings, like, now? I don't know. I'm not that very good at math. I don't know. Let me, let me look at how long we've been recording for. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do ratings now. What in the world is up with your audio? Anyway. Yeah, my phone fell off the, the arm of the couch. Oh, uh, that sucks. <laughs> so, um, IMDB gives it a 7.2 out of 10. Ron Tomatoes it gives an 88%. Voodoo gives it a 4.1 out of 5. And 78% of Google users like this movie. I'm unfortunately going to give this a 2.8. I'm sorry, a what? A 2.8. Yikes. Why? Like, I just there is didn't... so much so wrong with other movies that, I mean, a, um... Like, I'm not going to say it's the most, like, the best thing I've had to watch all year, or for the podcast, I'm definitely not going to say it's anywhere the level of what the hell I rate uh, twos for. That I mean, I feel like I feel like it's the perfect middle ground because, like, okay, I I know for sure that I rated the Percy Jackson movies and the Parent Trap lower than this. I'm fairly confident I rated Zapped lower. Um. And I'm also fairly confident that I rated The Incredible Hulk higher. Yeah. The so Incredible that's... Hulk was the most god tier. I'm, I'm bringing out my fucking pillow. This is a six at best. And that's when well, I'm rating it. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like we both rated Incredible Hulk like somewhere in the threes or fours. Yeah, there is, like, despite it being nothing original, I can still find enjoyment out of this because it was just a time killer. Something I would not want to spend my time with. Anything, um, like, I could watch this again if someone put this on. A movie and the twos, it, I would, I would actively walk out of the room. So you're giving this 6.0? Yeah. All right. So like uh, was said earlier, you can join us tomorrow for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Slingshot and the Marvel One-Shots, um, which just feels wrong. We recorded that so long ago. Oh, God, um, yeah. Um, and you can join us next week for The Lion King. Hey, a palate cleanser. Yeah, like actually a fucking masterpiece. Um, <laughs> hey, Disney's making people furries. Okay, hey. Hey, hey, why did you have to go from me calling the movie a masterpiece to talking about it making people furries? You know I'm right, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it did, but... <laughs> God, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've been Avery, that's been Lily, and we will be seeing you.